what's going on everybody um i'm glad to introduce my new uploading schedule which will be tuesday thursday and saturday at 5 p.m eastern time um for those of you that watched my video that i put up earlier today and you guys are watching this now this video will be how to build an effective scheme or the way i build an effective scheme so for this video purpose i'm gonna pick a random playbook right um, I'm just not even gonna look. I'm just gonna pick a random offensive playbook. So I'm just gonna count to ten and whatever playbook it lands on, that's the playbook um that I'm gonna use. But if I land on my custom that I have set, I'm gonna redo it. So gonna do a random. Random, 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 random. So whatever book I land on. I don't even know what book I just landed on. I'm just looking at my um Elgato. So right about now, I'm gonna show you guys um how I look for my man beaters out of a formation, um, zone beaters out of, out of a formation, blitz beaters, and just things like that, you know? So maybe this will help you guys um, maybe even get in the lab yourself and look at a formation and do these little tips that I'm doing to help you to help you guys out. So let's see what playbook I got. And we're going to start off versus two men on the first. You know, that defense is kind of just... This is pretty good. Just running the regular stock. Two men under. Everyone covered. Two safeties deep. So, what playbook is this? This looks like Redskins playbook. Alright, so. What formation do I want to cover first? Alright, let's cover the normal skins formation. I haven't ran this formation this whole year. So, right off the back. I see this play action pass. This looks popular to play. That you can um, um, throw to the corner route, or throw deep on a post, or B or A might get over versus man. It looks like a good um play. Inside zone. This looks like a, this looks like a good run. Xbox, stop listening. Why is this even listening to me? All right, go back to the formation real quick. So the inside zone run is good. This short. Skin short post looks like a good pass play for X and it looks like it's gonna kill zone. This is how I look at plays. The bubble screen looks like it might not be too much effective because it only has one, one wide receiver blocking, but versus man versus a zone blitz, it looks like it'll get open if there's no flat over there. Slot post looks like a good play versus zone, particularly, but maybe man too with the little post route. The pump draw it looks like it will kill Fagby. That looks like a nice play. Slip screen, something to mix in. Inside cross, definitely a zone beater and man beater. Oh, and wide receiver corners. So you never know, guys. This may be a scheme that I might be running in my next video. This is looking really nice. Alright, so we're going to start off with the run versus man. This video may be long, guys, but I'm telling you guys, if you guys stay through the whole video, this will help you guys. Promise. So we're going to run this versus um zone. Alright. Got about five yards right there. See if we can flip it. Motion out. Wide receiver one step, two step, something. It's okay. Five yards. That's okay. Now we're going to run this versus man. Alright. So versus man, as you can see, we got a huge hole. This looks like a nice run, to run, run versus man. Look at this. Wow, the two times we ran it versus man, we absolutely got <laughs> a lot more yards than what we ran versus zone. So zone, got about three, four yards right there, which is not bad on a typical run play. Versus man, look at this. Wow, we almost get a touchdown. This is amazing. All right, so now we're going to run this versus the blitz pinch. Okay, just a regular blitz. Not this too crazy. And we got five yards again. Now we're going to run this versus the um, blitz, but to the blitz side, you know, just in case we don't know what our opponent is running. All right, so still, it's a good run. All right, so cool. We got a good, we got a good, um, and it's a quick audible. That's nice, but you can run a custom online now. But, okay, so that's good. The run is pretty good. All right, this play action pass. This was a good play in um, last year, Carolina's book. I remember Carolina having this formation, but I haven't even touched this formation all year. Alright, so let's just run this versus a standard zone. It has no flats on the field right now. See what gets open. Run the play action. Okay, we got A. 
pretty good. Burn again. See if we can get another read. We have A open again. All right, X. All right, not too bad. Our third read looks like B may be getting open soon. We have Tom. Okay, so that, that that's pretty good. I'm gonna run this versus man. Like I said before, the drag where I look like it may get open, and it didn't get open. Okay, so man kind of locked this play, but we did have the corner route open and we did have B getting open. So let's look for that again. Cool. All right, so I see a little problem with this play automatically. That when I'm running this play and I know they're running man, I'm gonna put um X on the drag because I can already tell that he's gonna be in interfering with Y's route. So we're gonna run man again. Bam. All right, so I I like that a lot. We're gonna put X on the drag every time we run that um formation. I mean every time we run that play. All right, so let's run it versus man again. All right, so B route is just totally locked. So versus man, our only reads want to be Y, but I feel like if we run in the whole scheme, that, I mean, it's going to be deadly. So yeah, man kind of just locks this, um, this play. Let's see if we can get a little motion. See if we get a little separation. Okay, cool. That was nice. So versus man, we are going to motion B every single time. So I think for the whole scheme now, I want to motion B every play. Even if we run in the ball, screen, whatever, we're going to motion B every play. Just so our opponent would never know when we're doing this play. Because it looks like he gets the separation. Yeah, that's nice. Let's um, run that one more time. And that's actually blocking running back because practice mode, they all getting... I didn't even motion right there. I don't think so. Run that one more time. Man. Block our running back. Motion a couple steps inside. Just to get the inside position. Bam. Alright, so that, that's a good play. I like that. Four verticals. Um, Don't really need to go into detail about this because versus zone, you can literally just hit the inside seams. Click on, lead pass anytime. It's not that hard. So let's check out the other plays in this formation. Okay. Let's check out the um the zone weak. We don't really need to run this play due to the fact um we have the the inside zone, which is we could basically just flip it, you know. So with this scheme, I definitely will be flipping every single time with the right stick just confusing our opponent and motion and be on every play. So right now we're gonna run the skin short post play. Try that formation real quick. And we're gonna look for that little um, X route versus man. Let's see. I can see off off rip. It's unbumpable. As you can see, he didn't get pressed right there. So that's that's nice. Okay. We might. I noticed that in this formation also. Our top receiver is in the slot. Uh, you don't you kind of don't want that. I'm pretty sure you don't want that. But this X route is deadly. This is Hawkins. He's like a 73 overall wide receiver beating their top cornerback on the, whatever route he's on. So that's pretty good. He stuck with him that time, but we was able to click on it and pass lead. So that's not a bad pass, but we clearly have the position. Once again. Oh, he was naked. Okay, so th this is a good play. Real good play. So we're going to actually run two men on the bump completely. So the slot dude is getting bumped. As you can see, you cannot bump Y. So that that's already good. If someone's running two men under fag D, this is this is perfect. Y cannot get bumped. Just hike though that just like that. That's pretty good. Try that one more time. Look at this. It looks like X kills his man also. Wow, he ran man bump and he just ran right by him. See that? He just ran literally right by him. Well, let's see what that's about one more time. Versus a full man bump. And you guys will notice when the, where they're actually running real man bump because the dude that's guarding wild will bump, will jump down. Okay, so I guess that was just a fluke, so. 
All right, we see um, X gets open versus man and Y gets open versus man. Um, we can do other route combos like a zig route with A and um, a motion end route with um, Jones. Let's see how that fares. Your motion him a couple steps. Like I said, bam, separation. That's money. All right, so we definitely like that. We're going to motion end route him every single time versus man, guys. That looks like it's going to be pretty nice. All right, cool. That's nice. Um, you can put your running back on a route just so that spies and dead just scaring you guys. So I definitely like that. I'm gonna try it versus a, a zone coverage and see what routes get open with the same route combos. Oh, didn't mean to motion my running back. Try this one more time. I'm kind of liking that already. Run zone again. In route hen. We have a post. Well, whatever route that is. Deep post. Nice little baby curl. And a, a seam route with our tight end. That already looks nice. Off rip. We could have threw it to our tight end. And he just stopped right there. So, I don't know why he stopped. Let's run that one more time. All right. Okay, so we definitely want to just hit our first read, which is to tighten up the seam. Because the linebacker is definitely playing a good zone. And this is how I lab, guys. When I find a new offense, I run cover three, cover two, man coverage, fag D. And just to see how am I going to beat these types of coverages. So, originally, I'm just going to throw it to him every single time if he's open. Now, of course, we don't have no user. So, being that it may be a user... We may be able to get different routes open because if someone was using a deep post, as you can see, I would just have B off rip. Oh, I ran man right there. So that's pretty good already. So we got a nice little scheme so far. Now we're going to run the pump draw versus a two men under Fagby. Just to see how the draw works versus Fagby because draws work really good this year, guys. So we're running Fagby. And we're going to see what happens. We're going to motion him. Okay, so we broke a tackle, but it looks like I could have got a lot of yards on that run. Let's try that one more time. I'm going to motion him. And we didn't set up fag B this time, but it still works pretty good. That's about eight yards right there. And you can't go wrong with eight yards. And that wasn't even fag B. Try that again. Definitely will put the draw on my audibles just to get our opponent. Um, honest, you know, keep them honest on the run and everything. Okay, so we see how the draw works versus Fagby. Definitely a play to keep in your order boost. Now we're going to go with the play wide receiver corner. This play looks like it's going to destroy, man. We're going to see how that fares. All right, we're going to motion B a couple steps inside. Yeah, as you can see, it definitely did destroy, man. We definitely had wide, wide open. That's what AJ Green in that slot does for you guys. To AJ Green is matched up versus their third cornerback. You can't go wrong with that. That's a matchup problem all day for any team's third cornerback. All right. Bam. Okay, we have X getting open on that route, on a little corner route. Let's see. May have B getting open too. Yep. So that's Brandon Flowers getting cooked like that. that that's nice. So now we're going to run zone and see how this play fares versus zone. Looks like since it's a flat combo, I think um, Gresham is going to suck down the flat and B will get open on this play. But that's just me off knowledge before the play happens. So what happens? He bumps him. Bam, he gets open. Okay, so that was pretty good. Run zone again. All right, that was just kind of like a bad use by me because I haven't really used a court corner else this year. But it looks like you'll be able to just click on, lead pass down, and catch that. Try that again. He gets bumped. All right, so that was pretty good right there. Um, you don't want to have um, Hawkins did being that he's short, you know. But he just caught that rock right there, so that was pretty. That was pretty good. 
That's nice right there. Alright, so I'm feeling that. Let's put a purple out there. Put two purples out there. Just to see how that fares versus this play. Alright, so the purple's just the purple's just literally clamped down on that play. We had our tight end open on the flat. And we also would have had um AJ Green open over the middle. So look, we got the flat wide open. In the game, what are we gonna do? We're gonna take our we're gonna literally take our pass. If we have that flat wide open, we are going to throw it. We're not gonna sit there and wait for another route, guys. This is key. When you see your first read open, throw it to your first read. You have nothing to lose. You're gonna get positive yards every time. Every time. So we have our flat open, we're gonna throw it to him. We can also do that lead pass down on the purple, but we're gonna just throw it to our flat. We're gonna hike go to our flat this time. Show you guys. Bam. About five yards right there. Can't go wrong with that. So I can already tell this play is good. Now let's see versus Man Fagdy. Man Fagdy looks like this play might be dead. But once again, we have a fast quarterback. We can just easily run outside the pocket, you know. And pick up the first down. I pick up some yards. So once again, that post is getting open every time versus the third quarterback, third cornerback. Once again, this video is a little lengthy, guys, but I'm giving you guys a full breakdown of how I lab. So hopefully, guys, you guys enjoyed the video and leave it a like. Once again, try this versus Man Fagley. We have the post open. We're not gonna throw it in this time. So. Man Fagdy just virtually curved this play. It just killed it. But man Fagdy, this is what I would do. Put my running back on a um on a wheel route, guys. Now by him being on the wheel route, it's only one spa. Just gonna roll out the pocket easy. And pick up the easy first down. So I'm digging this formation, guys. I definitely will be running this in games now. I'm liking this already. Alright. See if we have any other plays we want to break down. The pump draw. Okay, the bubble screen. Now, the bubble screen versus man. This play looks like it's going to be dead. Yeah, that <laughs> that play was dead. And we forgot to do the motion, too. So, let's run versus cover three. Going to motion him. A couple steps inside. And it was also dead. So, this bubble screen looks like it's just going to be a play that's just in the formation that we don't use, guys. We're going to try to put him on a flat this time. Yeah, that was that was disgusting. So let's try it one more time. Like I said, the this play looks like it's only gonna be good versus a blitz. So we're gonna blitz the flat dude. Assuming that we know when they blitz it from that side. And now we're gonna throw the bubble screen. That's the only time it's gonna be good when they're blitzing from that side. So I mean that's a realistic play call, you know. Can't go wrong with that. So zone blitz, perfect. If they have a purple on that side, perfect. Let's put a purple over there one time. I have a great idea. When you start running that play action pass, they're gonna start putting purples. So I feel like the um the bubble screen will be open for you guys. So we have a purple. Got a motion. I'm a couple. My bad. Meant the motion on um, B. We could put A and R B on routes if we want to. All right. So we got about just three, four yards right there. But we want to run it versus the blitz mainly, guys. All right, let's go back to this formation. Z on the play looks like nothing special. Whip on there's nothing special. I'm not gonna really go over that. Let's go over the slip screen versus um a zone. Once again, we're gonna motion him a couple steps. Okay, so I can automatically tell that that slip screen is gonna be money. It's gonna be money. Let's run it versus man. All right, we're gonna put an end route streak him. So the screen is still nice versus man, as you guys can see. The screen is still nice. Yeah, I'm liking this. That was zone right there. I meant the um, audible to man. Pick man right quick. 
this screen looks like it's still nice versus man, guys. Like, the dude is getting picked up quick. Uh, I like that. Yeah, this 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 is perfect. All right, this screen is so far one of my favorite plays in this formation now. Let's see how it fares versus the blitz. See if we have time to throw it. If it's effective. Uh, one more time. We kind of could have followed our blocks right there. Let's see. All right, so this screen is money versus man. We could have easily, he could easily just block them. So this screen versus the man in end zone does really good. I'm liking that already. So that, those are my favorite plays so far. All right, now we got two more plays to go over. Let's go over this PA zip slot pass. See what this is about versus zone. Put A on the streak. See what happens. Oh, why well, had like a deep pose? That was kind of nice. Try that again. All right, so our first read. Bam, we got B lead pass down. We're gonna just complete that every single time. X on the streak is pointless. We're not throwing it to him unless you know he gets open deep or something. Damn, that wild route is money. So I'm liking that already. I'm digging that. I'm really digging that. Try that again. Look at the wild route. See why he's getting open. Damn, that route is nice. Okay, guys. So that that is nice. That is really nice. All right. Try this versus cover three and see what happens. So we have B. So cover three kind of, you know, played way more better versus it. So you want to run this versus a purple type of defense, a cover four, a cover three of purples. Let's see how two men under fans versus this play. Wow. So B just got naked. That was nice. B just got naked. And this is perfect play because they're gonna think we're motioning in our guys, just how we motion them every play. This is this is this is nice. Okay, he got locked right there. Alright, so versus man, you don't wanna run this play. It seems like the first time was just fluke. But versus zone, you definitely wanna run it, so this is a um a good play to put 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 inside the scheme. Alright, one more play that I want to look at, which is HB cutback play. It's like a little counter. Ah, I can already tell this player is not going to be too good. Especially the way the D-tackle just comes inside. You're going to have to try to miss him every time. Yeah, this play is not going to be a good play. So we can eliminate that play. So we can eliminate um that play for sure. We can take that out of our scheme. We do not want to run that. Let's try um inside crossing then one more play and i'm gonna let you guys go sorry for the long video but i want to just give you guys a breakdown of what i live and how i break down my ebooks and shit like that so we're gonna do no adjustments real quick just to see what happens all right so off rip we had wide wide open he just bumped my running back we're gonna block our running back so we have the drag wide open to the purples following um Jones on the deep post. Gonna run cover three real quick right here. See what happens. Once again, the flat follows B. So I'm liking that already. All right, two men under. Let's say we wanna hit B if we have time. B is running kind of a deep post, so. Forgot to do a little motion thing with him every time just to keep our opponent honest. Couple steps inside. They're gonna get us the inside position, so I'm liking that already. So okay, this play is a good play. Versus man in zone, this play is gonna be a good play. So definitely add that to the arsenal. Now last play in formation, we're gonna go down with the PA Titan screen. Damn. Okay, so versus zone looks like it's gonna be a problem. But let's put a flat out there and see how that works. All 
All right, so this play looks like it's going to be a nice play. Let's try, man. Wow, it's still... What, yo, what is he doing? Why is he trucking everybody like this? Damn, this play might be a low-key play. You got motion B every time. Once again, forgot about that. Wow, I'm liking this play a lot. Wow. Okay, I'm liking this play. So, that concludes the scheme. Hope you guys enjoyed this 26-minute video. Um... If you guys like this, please give a thumbs up so I can know you guys like this. I will be bringing a video every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 5 p.m. Eastern. So, until then, it's your boy Takeaway out. Peace.